Jammy biscuits. Is that not the most fun thing to say, make, and eat? It's the Great Taylor Seabaker Show. Hello, and welcome back to the Great Taylor C. Baker Show. My name is Taylor C. Baker, and I am baking my way through the Great British Bake Off technical challenges in hopes to live up to my namesake and become a better baker. <laughs> and today is Biscuit Week, y'all. We are making Paul Hollywood's Jammy Biscuits. This is a super fun shortbread -y biscuit with raspberry jam sandwiched, or sandied, or jammied. Sammy Jammy in the middle. It's gonna have some little hearts, little heart shapes, so heart shaped, all the things, hearts on hearts, hearts on hearts on hearts. So let's learn how to make it. Now usually you'd make your dough first and then do your fillings, but today we are going to make our raspberry jam first. So you're gonna need half a cup of fresh raspberries and five eighths a cup of jam sugar. Naturally, you can use store-bought jam for this, but it is always fun to go extra homemade and make your own jam. So let's go over to the stove and make it. So for the jam, you need to place the raspberries in a small pan and crush them with a potato basher. Once they're nice and crushed, you add your sugar and bring it to a boil on a low heat until the sugar dissolves. Then you increase the heat and let it boil for four minutes. Once it's all done, remove from heat and pass it through a tightly knit strainer and try to get out as many of the seeds as you can. And then you have your jam. So now that we have a gorgeous jam, which is already setting beautifully made, we are going to go ahead and make the biscuits. So to make our biscuits, we need half a cup of butter, which is one stick. You need to have it nice and softened. Half a cup of sugar, one large egg, a half teaspoon of vanilla, one and a quarter cup of plain flour, and one third cup of corn flour. So first up, we are gonna place our butter and our sugar in our handy dandy mixer and beat it until it's nice, pale, and creamy. Then we're gonna add in the egg and the vanilla, and once that's all mixed together, we're going to add in our flour. So now we have one of my favorite parts of making certain types of dough or pastry where we get to do some hands-on mixing. So we are going to take our butter, sugar, egg, and vanilla mixture and gently and slowly put in, it says sift. I've never actually sifted anything into anything. I just gotta throw it in there. So we're gonna put in our corn flour and our regular flour, and then I'm gonna fold it together. I'm gonna go ahead and tip my crumbly dough out onto my floured work surface. And we're gonna gently knead this together because there's still some pockets of butter until it's a nice and crumbly texture, but we don't want to overwork it. All right, that seems beautifully worked. And because our jemmy biscuits have two sides, a top and a bottom, we're gonna now separate this into two even discs and wrap it in plastic wrap and chill it for about 20 minutes. All right, so now that our dough is chilled, we're gonna roll it out. And with our big part, we're gonna use a little crimpy side and cut out 12 pieces with one of our dough hooks. And then once we roll out the other dough side, we're gonna do the same thing cut out 12 of the crinkly side of this. On half of that, so on 12 of the 24, you'll take the straight heart side and cut out a little heart in the center. Now that we have our beautiful little shortbread cookie biscuits, you're gonna bake them at 325 for 10 to 12 minutes until they're just lightly crisp and golden round around the edges. We actually want them to kind of stay this uniform shade, so don't want them to get too golden brown. And while our biscuits are in the oven, we are gonna make the final piece of the filling. We already made the jam, but we also have to make a little bit of buttercream. You're gonna need four tablespoons of softened butter, half a cup of powdered sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we wanna put our softened butter, powdered sugar, and vanilla all in a mixing bowl where you can fold it gently by hand and we're just gonna put a very low setting to mix it all together until it's nice and smooth. All right, little beauties. You look like the perfect amount baked. They look almost exactly the same, which is perfect. Now that these are out of the oven, we need to put them onto a cooling rack until they're completely cool, and then you will fill them. So much love. All right, so we are in the final stage. My cookies are nice and cool. Excuse me, biscuits, as the Brits say. How I'm going to sort of skip ahead. I think I'm being crafty right now because one of the things in the Bake Off that they were critiqued on is that the powdered sugar that was sifted on top covered up the jam in the middle of the red heart. You wanted that to be really bold. So I'm gonna skip ahead and do a little light dusting of powdered sugar on this half of the cookies. And then I will place all of my fixins 
on this half. And now I'm going to take my buttercream and do a light layer on the flat inside and then just do like a little hint of jam in the middle, sandwich them up, and then eat it. Et voila, we have our beautiful jammy biscuits. They look exactly like I wanted them to. I'm pretty jazzed about how these turned out. Now let's see if they taste as good as I want them to. Mmm, that is so very tea time British delightful. The biscuit itself is not really sweet at all. It has a nice little crunch, but not too crunchy and not too soft. The jam, I mean, you put raspberry jam in anything. I've noticed a theme so far in these Great British Bake Off recipes. There's a lot of raspberry jam in play. Princess cake, Victoria sponge cake, raspberry jam all around. So these were a big hit and I feel like I am finally starting to live up to my namesake because my bakes are not only starting to taste delicious, but look delicious as well. Thank you so much for watching The Great Taylor Sea Baker Show. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along with all of my baking misadventures. And I invite you to bake along with me if you bake anything from my show. Be sure to tag me at Taylor C. Baker on all the socials and use the hashtag bakewithbaker. Bakewithbaker so I can follow along with all the magic you are making in the kitchen. Cheers. <coughs> I inhaled the powdered sugar. Cheers. It's the Great Taylor Sea Baker Show.